welcome back to the next session. We are talking about the, um, the Mandelbulb 3D source code that is uh, that we can access and look around uh, using the Delphi development environment. So, okay, so let's look at some code, shall we? Now, you'll notice here that I am on a form uh, and this is the mand, this is the mand dot uh, DFM. This is the main form. We know it as the main form. And we can see the various components that are involved with this main form. If I expand like panel, we can see, let's see if I can, okay, good. So what I did is I double clicked and I went into the code of the panel, all right, and this is, uh, let's see, right, okay, all right, so, okay, good. So, this is the T-MAND 3D form, that's the main form, and this is the code that is related to this uh, main form. Uh, not trying to make you a software developer, uh, but you can get a sense for the kind of code that is involved with this, uh, this application, okay? Now, it basically it breaks down to this. Uh, so this is a whole section called an interface, and this is where they are defining the other libraries that will be utilized. If I looked hard enough, I could narrow it down and I could find uh, there is a missing reference or a missing library. All right, this math 3D. All right, uh, that might be uh, that might be a library or it could be a, another class. All right. Uh, okay, and so let's see. So here are classes. All right, now these are all of the classes that are defined within this class. All right, you see here, here are buttons that have been defined. All right, so you could say that these are, uh, these are a lot of the, uh, okay, a lot of the uh, interface uh, uh, elements. All right, let's go further down here. There's a lot of code here. Uh, these are uh, what are referred to as procedures. Uh, they're basically uh, small uh, segments of code. All right, and a procedure typically is a set of code that has been predefined in which there is no, uh, uh, there's no, uh, value that's returned from the procedure. So the procedure does something. Uh, for instance here, button for click. All right, and as an argument going into the procedure, it's, send, it's saying that the sender is T object. All right, so a procedure doesn't return a value, but it performs some function, in this case, a button click what to do when the user clicks a button and so on and so forth lots of procedures here all right there's more procedures uh, here um, here they're defining var variables uh, a variable is uh, basically a a, a, a a memory location that is holding a value the value could be numeric or the value could be another class, or it could be uh, alphanumeric. So the, these are your variables. All right, and let's see, we get into, let's see if we, oh, here's a procedure. Uh, that is an example of a procedure that was named above. All right, and uh, here is the procedure itself. And uh, now I don't know exactly what this does. Well, I think I can figure it out. This is the T MAND 3D form up down four. 
click. So this is a, this is a procedure that is called when the up down four, whatever that is, it's it's obviously some some function on the interface and where you have an up down uh, clicker. All right. Uh, on the click and the sender will be T object all right and uh, it's going to be a button type so this is basically saying uh, to begin and end uh, the uh, procedure it says here if button is equal to B T prev which is probably a variable then begin in that uh, if statement all right, and do that if label one two three dot caption is not equal to zero, and uh, then label one two three caption is uh, then it's 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 made to be not equal or it's kind of reversed to whatever that value is here. Otherwise, else if buttons so on and so forth. So point is, is that this procedure is performing some action, and that procedure is called when something happens at the user's interface. So you have an awful lot of these procedures to handle uh, the actions of the user. All right. Again, not trying to make you a software developer, but I think you can get an appreciation for what goes on uh, inside uh, in the code of this Mandelbulb 3D software. All right. So here we go. Another procedure. Wow. I mean, I mean, look at this. I mean, I again, I don't know what this does. Oh, here we go. All right, Mandelbulb 3D dot form. Uh, form dot disable buttons okay all this is doing is it's just going down through all the various buttons and setting their enabled property to false all right so it's it's disabling the buttons on the user interface in response to uh, something that happens uh, maybe, um, uh, uh, maybe, um, oh, maybe, okay, you're probably doing a calculate 3D. And while that calculation is happening, it, it disables the, most of the buttons on the user interface so that the user doesn't uh, inadvertently click a button and then disrupt the uh, calculate 3D process. So, okay. But this is the kind of stuff that goes on uh, behind uh, in your code. All right. So, and I'm just looking at one class of many. And I think you can get an appreciation for the amount of code that is involved here. I mean, I haven't counted it yet, but I would have to say we're probably several hundred thousand lines of code. Because I'm just looking at, uh, I'm just looking at, um, I'm just looking at this one class here. All right. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's uh, poke around a little bit more. Oh yeah, well here we go. So here's all the procedures that are involved. Uh, okay. Yeah, lots of good stuff here. Okay. So uh, okay. So that's enough for this. Let's end this session. And we'll come back, we'll poke around a little bit more. And I think maybe one more session. I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape in terms of appreciating what goes on behind the scenes here with this Mandelbulb 3D software application, okay? All right, so I'll see you in the next session. I'll see you there.